today on Divorce Court. I've been in a uh, lesbian relationship for the past 10 years. I've been going through a transition from female to male. I thought we were going to be in a lesbian relationship. All of a sudden, she wants to become a man and she didn't even let me know about this. It just bothers me when Tabitha refers to me as she because I'm not a she anymore. This is her choice. It's blindsided me, it's blindsided our relationship. I'm pretty much hoping the judge will talk some sense into this woman. This transition is, is totally breaking us apart. If Tabitha can't support me through my whole transition, then we will have to go on separate ways. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Paulette Sutherland and Tabitha Mason. The two of you have been together for 10 years, and you are now here on your Before Your Vows because you would like to know my opinion as to whether or not you could proceed to make that ultimate step. Before we talk about anything else, though, I would like to address you. I want to know how you would like to be addressed. I understand that you are a female-to-male transgender, yes, and I want to know what you would like to be called, because I always call everybody by their last name. Uh, you can call me Peyton or Mr. Sutherland. Mr. Sutherland? Yes, ma'am. I'll go with Mr. Sutherland and Ms. Mason. I understand that you two had been together for 10 years, yes, but you only recently transitioned. Yes, ma'am. And that that has caused a great deal of difficulty in your relationship. Yes, ma'am. I want you to tell me what concerns you have as with respect to her because of this? Um, I pretty much just want to see if, uh, you know, if she wants to be with me as a man, spend the rest of her life with me um, as the man that I'm becoming. Well, has she been supportive in your process? Um, somewhat, but not really. What things would you like to see that she isn't doing for you? Probably just address me by different pronouns, like he or him, you know. So she, she, st she still in insists on calling you she and her? Yes, ma'am. But I, I know it's a transition mm -hmm. for everybody, so I know it may take a little bit of time. Right. Too, so. Okay. Ms. Mason, um, did you know that Mr. Sutherland always felt that he may not be... Oh, he said it beautifully in here. I'm, I'm going to quote you because you did it. It, it, was, it, was, it was gorgeous. You said, I have always felt more masculine than feminine, but it wasn't until I started researching gender identity early this year that I realized I was a man trapped in a woman's body. It was as if I was blind my entire life, and now I was given eyes to see. Yes, ma'am. Did you know that he w was having this struggle throughout the course of your relationship? Well, I know she always been uncomfortable um, in public. You know, with the way people treat you, is she a man or, or you know, a woman? So I know that. It's just, um, I was completely blindsided about the situation. I never knew nothing about it. I mean, Well, tell I've me been about that first years. conversation when he broached the issue with you. What was said? I seen the video. She was like, do you know any, have you, I was like, because I never seen these type of people. Like, I never, you know, actually seen it until she, until she brought it to my attention. She was like, it's actually some people out here that don't look how they are, you know? So, and that, then she was like, well, I think that's what I want to do. I'm like, what? That's what you want to do? I mean, I was confused because she didn't tell me that. And it's been, I've been with her for 10 years. She never told me anything, like how she really felt. She never said, I feel like a man on the inside. <laughs> So I never, never really... expressed any concern, confusion, or, no, or, or we, a we searching. Didn't do it. No, like, no. Did you ever sense a discomfort that you may not have been able to pinpoint, I but mean, that yeah, she, that yeah. that he was feeling? Yeah, because you know, in public, she always you know don't want to go to the bathrooms, don't want to go, you know, to girl, you know, if like we went to a spot, and. <laughs> And it was, um, you know how the girls got to go on this side and the boys got to go on this side. Well, she had to come on this side and wear pink. So she's like, I don't want to wear pink. So that's when I didn't know. But, you know, I didn't really trip off of her. I know it was a big deal like that. Does it change at all your desire to move forward with Mr. Sutherland and, and, and consider marriage? Um... Yeah, I do want to consider it. Like I said, I'm, I, I don't like, I don't know. 
Like, as a woman, she cooked, clean, took care of me. So, as a man, I don't know if that's what she going to do, those type of things. I don't know how men are. I don't get with men. I'm a lesbian, so I don't know. <laughs> well, now, that's not your primary concern, <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> She think I'm a change as a man, and I'm telling her I'm the same person that I was. It's just my shell is changing. Why do you think he does those things for you? Because he love me. <laughs> do I... you think that this transition would make him love you any less? I don't know. I, I, you know, and I understand that. Uh, do you understand her concern that she loves women? Yeah. She likes them. She likes the way they look and feel and think. And now that you are transitioning, she has ha had been to question whether or not the attraction for you will remain. Yeah, yeah, I definitely understand that. But like I said, I'm still the same person that I was before. So, you know, when you've been with a person for over 10 years, you, you would think you would love the person and not the outer shell. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I, I I understand that she's a lesbian, but, I mean, we've been together 10 years, so you would think she would take that, you know, into some kind of... Consent. I do! <laughs> but I'm still the same person. I'm still mm -hmm. gonna cook, clean, mm -hmm. love her mm -hmm. the same way. I'm mm -hmm. the same person. I mean, I feel as she started to um, be trans... Um, she, she say I changed. I think she changed and, and she pulls away. I'm Don't just... you think that upon taking the hormones and all of that stuff that it will change you somehow? It, it did I change... I mean, your emotions or... It, it, it did change my emotions. It did that right away, but um, it, I think it changed it for the better. Mm -hmm. Because I used to be, like, emotional, screaming, crying, hollering, you know, uh, when we were getting to it. And now, I, I don't even take out the time to do that. Because it's, it's... I don't... I don't want to argue and fight about something that I can't control. Right. And yeah. you think that becoming who you truly are and taking the hormones has allowed you to overcome that part that you didn't enjoy about what was going on anyway? I believe so, yeah. Do you <laughs> see a change in character about yeah. him? And do you like it, or do you just not like it because it's different, or you just don't like it because you don't like it? Um, I don't like it because we were doing a lot of things together. We did music together. We traveled together. We did a lot of things together. So now that she's becoming, you know, changing into a man, she has strange friends. She goes different places by herself. She does things by herself. I mean, we don't really do things together no more. It's not because I changed into a man. It's because, uh, well, we had issues before this. So it's not because I'm changing because I changed to a man. I'm... I do things differently now because we not the way we used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do see, though, that she thinks she's losing you, and, and she's not sure why? I think she's sure why. She know why. Well, let's explore that. We pretty much had an open relationship. It, it wasn't discussed that, that it was going to be open. Is when I met her, I figured out that for me to be with her, I have to let her do what she want to do. She had an ex-girlfriend. We've been together 10 years. They've been together six out of those 10. Mr. Southern, why don't you tell me what the other issues were that you had before transition became a part of the conversation? Um, just infidelity. You know, her, her cheating, flirting, doing, doing whatever she want to do. Was she a traveler? Was she running around? I mean, she just, I mean, you know, not just too much like that, but whatever, she, if she wanted to do something or somebody she was interested in, she would do it. She would just go for it? Yeah, without Is discussing that true, it Ms. with Mason? me. No. It's true. I don't believe it. You laughed <laughs> right after you said no. Yeah. I mean, we both have friends. She has friends and I have friends. So we both have friends. We, we pretty much had an open relationship. It, it wasn't discussed. That, that it was going to be open, is when I met her, I figured out that for me to be with her, I have to let her do what she want to do. And that involved having other she want, relationships what, out there yeah. because that's yeah. what she enjoys doing. Pretty much. Do you agree that he was open to that and open to allowing you to explore your sexuality in a manner that you, yeah. you enjoyed? I, I do agree with that part. 
It's just that you was doing the same thing too. You Not, you have texts in your phone. You have best friends. That, that's after have, the that's after the fact though. Like when we first got together in the first few years we was together, you didn't have those type of problems for me. I had those problems from you. Uh, your ex-girlfriend, she had an ex-girlfriend. We've been together 10 years. They've been together six out of those 10. They just really broke that off, to be honest. So she had an ongoing... Pretty much, yeah. ...relationship yeah, with another woman during the course of the relationship with you. Did, is that what happened? That, that was just it for me right there. That was... It Did wasn't you? a relationship. We was friends. Who was With friends? benefits? Yeah, that's right. Friends with benefits. That's a relationship. Her ex-girlfriend. Yeah, they, they pretty much just stopped talking. So. Were you ever concerned how Mr. Sutherland felt about your dedication to him, given your continued involvement with others? Well, ever since... See, the thing is, now that she has her friends, mm -hmm. yeah. everything changed. Like, she's missing. She used to tell the truth. If she says she's gone for five minutes, she'll be back in five, five minutes. minutes. Now, five minutes be like three hours. I mean, uh, we both met a girl, thought she was attractive, and we had a threesome. Well, she pretty much wanted me to stop dealing with the girl and talking to her. I mean, okay, we had the threesome, but she got a girlfriend now. And previously, her girlfriend disrespected me. I called her phone one day, and her girl answered the phone. Are couples in open relationships more likely to have trust issues? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. The change in your behavior, I understand, has a little bit to do with a threesome that got messy yeah. and changed everything. Why don't you tell me what happened? Um, last year, uh, it was the Mayweather fight. I threw a party. I liked the host. Uh, we both met a girl, thought she was attractive, and we had a threesome. Well, she pretty much wanted me to stop dealing with the girl and talking to her. I mean, okay, we had the threesome, but after that, I'm, I'm still, like, wanting to get to know the girl as a person, mm -hmm. you know, see what we got in common. Well, she was a musician, so we used to hang out and do stuff, but she was at work, and she pretty much wanted me to stop talking to the girl. Yeah, but, I and, and you felt that since she had ongoing relationships with other women, you should be able to have ongoing relationships with other street. women, too. I figured Ms. Mason, your response to that? You know, it's not that, um, I don't mind the girl. It's just the girl is real disrespectful. To and her. Th yeah, that, yeah exactly. And, th and that's the part where you're supposed to say something. You had friends disrespect me, too. But I override that. You know, I, her friend disrespected me. She, she got a girlfriend now. And previously, her girlfriend disrespected me. I called her phone one day, and her girl answered the phone saying something to me, and I'm calling And she out. also apologized, too. But. At, but because I didn't take it personal. <laughs> what if I would have took it personal? You keep calling Mr. Sutherland she. <laughs> is that out of habit, or is that intentional? It is. It's it, it, a failure to I'm just seem... used to calling her that, um, him that. <laughs> she, she, um... But I think she just... You don't, don't believe she... Do you believe she's being overtly disrespectful nah, or she's nah, just nah, not trying? Nah. Or you think... She just... I think she just haven't realized what's going on yet. That, mm -hmm. That's what I think. Until, like, she sees the facial hair, the full beard, she just don't realize what's going on. Yeah. And so, like, I understand... And it's you a, can appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I understand it's a transition for everybody, so... Yeah. But it get kind of awkward in public sometimes when she says she and they looking like... Like... Where's the shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh. I understand sexual attractions like, I like guys. She likes women. Do you understand, like, if she transitioned into a guy, would you be... Right, would you still be Easily, would it be as difficult as it is for her to accept and be sexually attracted to her if she were male? Uh, that's a good question. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I love her. So I mean, it's that hurting. wouldn't it's... matter. The... Nah, it's, I it's wish hurting. I could do it so we can see then. Do it. 
I, I, I mean, I always told her I loved her for her. That's just, that's just like if she go out here and get in an accident and something happens to her, God forbid, I'm going to still be with her. Mm -hmm. So, because I love her. Fine. fine. You know, like everybody, they say, oh, she's fine, she's beautiful. Okay, I know that when I first saw her, but I don't see that anymore. I see her. Her as a person. Yeah. The inside. Yeah. So the looks, don't all mean of nothing that, to me. none of that it, it is I, relevant anymore. Is It don't matter. I don't see it. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Listen, I never try to tell people I know something I don't know. So I brought, brought an expert in here who has, has studied the issue of when one partner transitions mm -hmm. and how that impacts the sexual nature of the relationship. Because gender identity is one thing, sexual attraction is, is quite another. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ms. Spencer, if you please come forward. Rachel Spencer is a transgender therapist to help us out with some of these issues. Why don't you just start out telling them what you would like like to say and what, what you think they need to hear and know. Well, it sounds like there's a lot of love in this relationship, but it also does sound like there's a lot of problems beyond the gender issues. Mm -hmm. um, but I, what I really see is a great sense of grief and loss. And that's really common. You know, I mean, every, every situation is different and every transition is different, every couple's different. But it's really common when something like this happens that, you know, the plans that you had for, you know, how you thought your relationship was going to go, you know, the, who, who you thought you were connected with, there's a lot of grieving to be done there. And it would be my recommendation that I understand that you're in therapy and that that's part of what you have to do for the gender, um, the change in gender. But I would strongly suggest that you seek your own treatment as well as couples counseling because the, and, and support. Because I understand that you have a lot of support. You have friends yes. in, yes. in the trans friends, community. Family, yeah. And it doesn't sound like you have a lot around this. But I'd also like to say that um, as he's made the transition, he's still who he is. You know, and that's really important to look to look deeper and to see is there enough there in the relationship to see him for the person beyond the gender identity, and is there enough in you to look behind, behind your sexual orientation and to see the person that you love? You know, and I but I also think it's really important for you to and it I've seen I, I was, as I was listening to you back there a huge sense of kindness in you, but to really turn towards her and to support her through this. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate the, uh, the input. Do you believe Peyton's transition will end his relationship with Tabitha? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If there's one thing I'm sure of, every consenting adult has the right to be who they want to be and love who they want to love. And I encourage everybody to embrace whatever that is. I don't want you to think, if you don't want to be with a man, that you're a bad person. You know what I mean? Because she does that have that choice, because you chose women for a reason. Uh, so I don't want you to believe that, but I also don't want you to believe that you can't love him because he is a man. I, neither one of those things is true. You have the right to make your choices and your decisions that are true to your heart. And you, you do understand that? Yes, yeah, and, and, and I think you guys are gonna love each other forever, no matter what, because you loved each other through a lot so yeah. far just as far as the, the other people are all concerned. But both of you have the right to be who you are and love who you love. And I would encourage you to support each other and love each other, get some, get some expert uh, assistance in this whole matter. And, uh, but you'll have no business <laughs> whatsoever getting married. I don't even know why you're thinking about it. All right? Okay. Good luck to the both of you. This matter is adjourned. <laughs>